Relationship, going through a relationship, and you're gonna hear things about my relationship. You know, if, you know, something crazy happened in the street. You're gonna hear that in my in my rhymes, or you know, like what I'm thinking at the time. So, mm -hmm. so speaking of relationships, how hard is it keeping a relationship <laughs> as an artist? It's like super duper hard. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, like me personally, like I'm I'm just trying to trying to sell my brand and, and, and demonstrate like what a good brand and a good person is trying to be. You know what I mean? Like artists are so um like people stereotype us, you know what I mean? That's why it's hard being in a relationship and being an artist because you're stereotyped, you know what I mean? Just because there's girls in the world don't mean I want the girl. You know what I'm saying? But our partners think you know what I mean? So it's, it's just, it's just, it's hard, but you know, you gotta understand both sides. You just gotta be open about the things you're doing, you know, eyes and you know, right. so. Okay. So, what, I guess, I, I usually follow you on, on Facebook, and, you know, to see your performances and stuff. So, what made you take this hiatus? I like, to, I say hiatus. It's, it's been a little while since I've seen, seen you perform anywhere before. Um, I, I was fasting. I was fasting, okay. um, so I actually at one point I cut my page off, oh. and I stopped because that was part of my fast. Right. You know I mean? So um, and I hadn't been in the studio or nothing just to clear my mind and you know for God's purposes and just to see her and it helped me out a lot. You know I mean? but again, you know what I'm saying like my brand is about being about business and your priority of being a good person. About my veto, veto stands for versatile intellectual talent and optimism. That's what the veto stands for. So, you know, you, you can't talk it and not live. Okay. So, that's what I'm trying to focus on. But I'm back. I, mean, I, I did perform uh, two weeks ago at Splash Lounge in Bethesda. Um, and it, was, it was a nice performance. I had one yesterday that was canceled because the week before it was fighting me. I wasn't there, but. You know, people on my uh, act sort of. But um, right now, I I'm focusing on, you know, my, my EP and focusing on um, getting my artists um, and the state of EP together, too. And then we're going to start, um, you know, turning up the performances again. Um, I just got like a little deal with the Double Tree Hotel in um, Bethesda for some rooftop parties during the summer. So, you know, I'll incorporate some of my artists and other artists into that situation. Again, I'm trying to reach all types of people. You know, man. So, you know, I'm not only an artist, I'm a business person. Okay. So, who, what artists have you collaborated with? Um, oh, Dizzle, Fat Trail, um, Lil Wiley, um, Garvey, um, me and Boo, one like Boo, we had some things going, but we didn't actually get it done. Um, I don't know if you're aware, but I do have the album in DTLR nationwide. Um, um, Sunny Hot. Um, who else? Who else? Who else? Um, you know, I've done some stuff with Freeway, not no music. Shows, other shows, but not no you know, on track um, music. Um, Tiger, um, Mario. Um, and there's a lot of a lot of other artists that I've collabed with um, that, you know, are a little under me or a little above me, you know what I mean? So, you know, just, we all trying to get to that, get to that top, you know what I mean? But I'm, I don't collaborate with everybody. 
Okay. I don't. What makes you decide? Um, you their make? work ethic. Okay. You know, so, sometimes I charge, sometimes I don't. It's all depending on your work ethic and, um, you know, what you're doing, what you represent. Um, you know, I'm, I, I don't judge anyone, but I like my, my brand in a certain, certain way, so I want to keep it like that. You have any artists out today that you're looking to collab with? Um, um, well, the, well the, I guess that's a different question than the R&B. The R&B guy, I'm trying to get him on my team, so I guess I wouldn't use that as an example. Um, right now, um, not really. Um, I just, I'm just focusing on my project, and um, you know, after I put that out, then I'll start, you know, accepting and asking. And, Getting other collabos and features and all that, but right now I just want to focus on my EP and um, you know get it out there, get a couple of videos out, and, you know keep keep networking and linking with different entities and different promoters and you know keep keep moving. Yeah. So what do you think about the state of hip hop, or I should say music? Period. The state of music, um, I think it's coming back. It's coming back to like the nineties and stuff like that. I think it was lost for a minute. It wasn't lost, it was just on a different path. You know what I mean? It's like, and I think a lot of people get, um, they get caught up in, I want the old. But, you know, if you always had the old, you never broke. You know what I mean? So I think, you know, music has grown. And then everything, I think, goes full circle. You know what I mean? Everything. I mean, at one time, people wasn't wearing, they stopped wearing Timbers. You know what I mean? At one point, everybody's wearing Tim's. Then they stopped, and then they started wearing Tim's again. They went full circle. So, I mean, everything's going to come back around. You know? yeah. But I think it's on the up and up. So, what do you think about, uh, I should say, the content of the music? The content probably needs to change because everybody can't rap about the same thing. Because then it gets boring. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, there's certain things that's just so easy to rap about, whether you're familiar with it or not. You know what I mean? So, um, I think the content is where everything needs to change and needs to be expanded. Um, um, you know, at one point the creativity was like taking over and the content was the same. You know what I mean? Like, now I see the content getting back. You know what I mean? But it gotta match with the creativity. You gotta rap from here, you know what I mean? Yeah. And not from, you know, just here. You know what I mean? So, what do you think about uh, Kendrick Lamar's uh, I'm the King of New York statement? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it was very controversial, you know what I mean? Like, I, I think he was a smart dude and he knew what he was doing. You know what I mean? He, I don't even think he really meant that, but he knew what he was doing. Right. You know what I mean? He was making a statement. You know what I mean? Everybody's talking about Kendrick. Song a long time ago about Beyonce, you know what I mean? So like, he knows what he's doing. Uh, at, at some point, you, you know, you play chess with the game. You know what I mean? And, and he's not. He didn't try to. He's not trying to beef with nobody. You know what I mean? Like at one point, you know, people were beefing, trying to. But that's not what he's doing. He, he, he knows what he's doing. And I think it was. It was smart, and then it was. It was. It was witty. You know what I mean? It was real witty. So. Good job. <laughs> So, okay, we're going to switch it to female artists. Mm -hmm. who, do you, who do you think are the top female artists? Are, are they relevant, I should say? Do you think they're still relevant in hip-hop? They're relevant when they speak. Okay. Well, Nicki Minaj, like, do you think she's, like, the top, or she just, business-wise, is she? She has a great business mind, and she speaks her mind. She's the only one that's speaking her mind right now. <laughs> so... She has no competition until someone else speaks their money. Very true. <laughs> Very true. Okay, so you, what do you think about mainstream versus indie? Mainstream versus indie. I think um, mainstream is almost watered down and it's almost causes indie to get watered down. Because the indie is trying to be like the mainstream instead of trying to be like itself. But at the same time, you know, there's certain people that's pulling the strings. And, you know, it's all about good, bad, and best choices. And sometimes, you 
get in these situations and you don't make the best choice. You make the bad choices because of the immediate, you know, the immediate gratification. And at the, and at the end of the day, it made a bad choice. So, you know. Okay. Um, I'm not going to take up much more of your time. I know you got some stuff to do. But I appreciate you sitting around and talking to us today. I appreciate like, y'all coming out here. Thank you. Um, we look forward to hearing more from you, of course. And if you have any show dates or anything, we'll just order them for you. Okay. Um, okay. Would you like to leave your contact information or music links? Yeah, um, you can find, you can just Google Vito Brown and everything will come up. But Facebook is Vito Brown. Uh, Twitter is Vito Brown. Um, Instagram is Vito Brown. I mean, it's pretty much Vito Brown. B-I-T-O. Around. No relation to me, no, none of that. Mm. Um, I'm, I'm easy to find. Just ask about. Okay. Like shout out TJ Lux Lambert, my homie. DJ Gemini, um, AC Toast, Eric Biden. Appreciate y'all. We working with the bank in the building. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, Hail Mary got the B on blast, homie I'm chasing the cash, mommy I'm stacking